Hi, today's song is a Scottish song called Katie Bairdy, and it's about a little girl called Katie Bairdy, and she owns lots of different animals, and she does a little dance after she tells you a little bit about each animal. There are six verses, and the first verse goes like this. Katie Bairdy had a coo, which is a cow. Black and white about the moo, black and white around its face, about the moo. I think it's where the moo comes out in the sound of its mouth. Wasn't that a dainty coo? Wasn't it lovely, that little cow? Dance Katie Bairdie. Okay, so to sing that, it sounds like this. Katie Bairdie had a coo, black and white about the moo. Wasn't that a dainty coo? Dance Katie Bairdie. Now, every time we say dance Katie Bairdie, she's going to do this little dance to a little chorus that the words are very easy. It just goes, Diddly idle idle I, diddly idle idle I, diddly idle idle I, three times like that, and then the fourth time it goes diddly idle idle, a little bit different at the end. Okay, to sing that it sounds like this. Diddly So that's the bit where she does her little dance. And that might be a good place where we can tap our spoon on the pot along with the beat because that's the chorus and we sometimes do that with the chorus. The second verse goes like this. Katie Bairdy had a cat. It could catch baith moose and rat. Baith means both and moose is a mouse and rat is rat. So it could catch both mice and rats, okay? So we're gonna say, Katie Bairdy had a cat. It could catch bass moose and rat. Was nay that a dainty cat? Dance Katie Bairdy. And then we're gonna sing our diddly idle idle eye. Okay, so let's try verse two. lay baith butt and ben. And that means it could lay its eggs both here and there. So it just laid its eggs anywhere. Mostly um, a hen would lay its eggs in a nest in a particular place, always the same. But no, this is what's happening. This this hen could lay its eggs anywhere. Was nay that a dainty hen? Dance Katie Bairdy. And then we'll do our little diddly idle idle eye. So let's try that verse. Katie Bairdy had a hen. Katie Bairdy had a hen, it could lay beef butt and bend. Was they that a dainty hen? Dance Katie Bairdy. Diddly idle idle I, diddly idle idle I, diddly idle idle I, diddly idle idle. Now verse four is about a pig and I find this verse quite quite funny because you're going to have if you've got boys and girls in your house, you could have the girls saying one line and the boys saying another because the words go like this. Katie Bairdy had a pig and the boys go, no, she did nay. That means no, she didn't. And the girls go, aye, she did. And then we'll say, was nay that a dainty pig? Dance Katie Bairdy. So if your dad is at home or you have a grandpa or an uncle or, or brother at home, they can do the bit that goes, no, she did nay. And all the girls can go, aye, she did. Or maybe you're a boy and you've got a sister, a mom, a granny, an auntie, somebody at home who can do the girl bit while you sing the boy bit, okay? So let's try to sing that one. Katie Bairdy had a pig. No, she didn't. Aye, she did. Was me that a dainty pig? Dance Katie. Quite funny.
funny. Now, in order to fit this word in, we can't say her last name. Her last name is Berdy. So we've been going Katie Berdy had a cat. Katie Berdy had a coo. But now we're going to say crocodile. So we can't say Katie Berdy had a crocodile. It doesn't fit. So we're just going to say her first name. So we say Katie had a crocodile. Haven't seen her in a while. Wonder what's happened to her. And then we're going to have, instead of singing the words, was na that a dainty croc dance, Katie Berdy. We're not gonna say anything, but we're gonna clap the rhythm. So, was na that a dainty croc will sound like this with my hands. And then, dance, Katie Berdy would sound like this. And then we'll go back to sing diddly idle idle eye. Okay, so let's try this one. This is the clapping verse about the crocodile. Don't say Beardy. Katie had a crocodile. Haven't seen her in a while. Then we'll clap our hands. Okay, let's try this first. which I think has happened after the crocodile's been chomping. He's maybe chomped off her leg. So now she has a wooden leg. So we're going to say Katie Berdy. So we're back to saying her last name. Katie Berdy's wooden leg kicked. So she's got her leg kicked the bairns, which is the babies, out their beds. So we're going to say kick the bairns out of their beds. Ah, the fleas. Oh, that sounds horrible. The bed must be full of fleas. So all the babies are in their beds with fleas in the bed. And when she kicks the, ba the babies out of their beds, all these fleas jump out and they run up her leg. And that really makes her dance. And that's when we're going to say dance, Katie Berdy, diddly idle idle eye. Okay, so just to recap the words of that last verse, Katie Berdy's wooden leg kick the bairns out of the bed. Ah, the fleas ran up her leg. Dance, Katie Berdy, and then we'll sing the chorus. Okay, so here we go. Here's the last verse. Katie Berdy's wooden leg kick the bairns out of the bed. Ah, the fleas ran up her leg. Dance, Katie Berdy, diddly idle idle lie, diddly idle idle lie, diddly idle idle lie, diddly idle idle. So that is the end of that. So try to work your way through all six verses. Try to get a boy and a girl in your house, if you've got a boy or a girl in your house, um, to sing along with verse four about the pig. So one person can say, no, she didn't, and the other person says, aye, she did. And then you go back to singing together. In the fifth verse, don't forget to clap the bit, which is the sound of the crocodile chomping. Okay, and see how you get on with that. Get a pan and a spoon to join in with the chorus when you're singing diddly idle idle eye to tap the beat. And I hope you have fun. <laughs> Katie Bear.
she didn't he? Aye, she did. Once nay that a dainty pin.